I hope you enjoyed our training course and uh, I would like to share with you my five top tips. So if you work on health, you should think about the impacts on the environment. If you work on uh, the environment, you should think about the consequences for people that are facing disadvantages, or you should use health in your objectives. If you are a social worker, then you may think of nature-based solutions in your social work. Apply the triple win. No doubt trade-offs will need to be made. Um, you would need to negotiate and see how best to proceed. Leadership to work across sectors clearly is very important, but you can try to use the model, the inherent model that you have learned about, because that may help you to apply system thinking and see how you can work together in integrated ways. Positive visions gives us energy to move forward like what we have seen in our foresight studies. It's not all doom and gloom, it's also a positive approach. And we have to create positive feedback loops. You may have seen that in our case study in Prague uh, on cycling, that promoting cycling led to more cyclists into the city, that then further gave incentives to the city administration to do something on the infrastructure for cyclists, that then lead to even more cycling. So that's a positive feedback loop. The same for businesses and industry. It should be a race to the top. You know, they should use sustainability to their advantage rather than a race to the bottom. So embrace positive visions. Specific policies are needed at the national and at the local level in order to mobilize people, to mobilize communities, to take up action for the environment and for their health and to achieve a critical mass. Legislate were needed, for example, uh, national uh, public procurement rules in schools can be used for more healthy and sustainable foods and also provide seed funding to support social innovation and social uh, entrepreneurship. Our case study in Greece and in uh, Rotterdam that showed us that technological devices being used by lower socioeconomic groups was effective, it helped. It's just that they can't pay for it. So pricing policies or subsidies like for affordable, healthy and um, uh, uh, fruits and vegetables or free public transport are really effective and important measures. Also bringing people together in your initiatives and getting them to agree what they are about uh, is important to make sure that everyone takes part and can benefit. Habits like cycling and walking or eating healthily are formed at a very, very early age. So sustainability needs to be made the norm in primary schools, in uh, secondary schools, and child and youth-friendly societies where there is space to play, where there are no cars and no air pollution is actually good for everyone. But we need to advocate for it too. Sustainability needs to be built in our economic models. And Inherit shows that the economic returns of investments in, for example, green space, quality green space, or quality housing, that pays off. So business models can be made and we need to radically change our systems and structures, in particular in food, mobility and energy. So I hope that these five top tips were a helpful summary for you. Um, and I would like to thank you for your participation in this course. And I hope that you will join us in working towards a triple win for health equity and environment. Thank you.